world and welcome to another Battlefield 2042 video. Today I'm going to be helping you to rank fast, level up super duper fast in the game, and I'm going to give you guys the best methods, best strategies, and best tips to make sure you hit that high level fast and easy and also level up your weapons. So if you guys are enjoying what we're doing here in the channel, do me the huge favor guys, drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications, so make sure that bell notifications take to all, so you guys won't miss our shooter videos. We're going to have you guys completely covered with everything that has to do shooters, loot and shooters, battle royales, all that good stuff, so make sure you guys keep it locked here for all that good information. If you want to go the extra mile, do consider subscribing and becoming part of the Bull Nation. We'd love to have you part of the family. So let's talk about how you level up fast in Battlefield 2042. Just like any other game, guys, leveling up is going to be very crucial because that's going to help you unlock weapon attachments. It's going to help you unlock characters. It's just going to help you out quite exponentially. And you want to know how to level up. Let's start off with tip number one. Let's start off with ribbons. Now, ribbons are extremely important. And knowing what these ribbons are and how to actually get credit for each of these ribbons every single time you play the game is going to be fundamental for you guys to level up. There are a total of five ribbons that you're able to obtain every single time you play the game. The first ribbon is the object ribbon. This is pretty much depending on the game where you're playing, you pretty much have to play the objective. So you're playing conquest, make sure you go ahead, hold a base. And every time you capture that flag or that section, you will be awarded this ribbon. Of course, the more that you get, the higher that ribbon is going to be able to do. The next ribbon we have is the wingman ribbon. Now, the way you're able to unlock this ribbon is by healing or reviving your teammates or helping some others in another way. So if people need ammo, if people need, uh, you know, a meth kit or whatever they need, if you help them out, you will unlock the wingman ribbon. So you want to make sure you're doing this every single time. So be a team player, guys. Come on. Come on now. Then we have the logistic ribbon. The logistic ribbon... It can be obtained very similar to the Wingman Ruin because this one works by healing players, resupplying players with ammo, and repairing damaged vehicles or tanks. So basically, you guys are going to be the assist man. You're going to be dishing out those assists, heal players, gives people ammo, and you guys should be good to go. Next up, guys, we have number four, which is the Intel Ribbon. This is going to allow you to be able to obtain this ribbon by destroying enemy drones and spot the enemies. This is super easy, guys. All you got to do is spot one enemy, and boom, you unlock the Intel Ribbon. Destroying the drones could be a little bit more difficult, but spotting an enemy, it could be quite easy because before you even shoot them or kill them, you could easily spot them and take them out. The last one, guys, is something that you guys mostly will unlock every single time you play, and that is the Combat Ribbon because the Combat Ribbon is going to be obtained by either killing players or destroying vehicles. So that one, I'm pretty sure all of you guys are able to obtain. Now, the max level in Battlefield 2042 is 99, and you'll be able to start earning XP as soon as you're able to do that. So that is one way I want to give you because I know a lot of people are new to the franchise, don't understand how ribbons work since they were introduced in Battlefield 4. So every single time you guys play a match, make sure you guys complete every ribbon because you are losing out on XP. All right, so now on to tip number two. Make sure you guys are playing with the right specialist. Now, when I mean the right specialist, you're going to want to make sure you're selecting the right ones. There are two specialists that are extremely crucial for your success to be able to get a lot of XP, and I'm going to explain why these, why this is. Number one, the first specialist we want to be talking about is this one, Sundance. Now, Sundance, really good character. Remember, you're no longer tied to a specific weapon, so you can put any weapon here. But the reason you want to play as her is because of her wingsuit. The great thing about her wingsuit is that it allows you to get in positions and flank the enemy as opposed to other, as opposed to other characters. What you're going to be able to do is when you die, you could spawn into a helicopter, and from that helicopter, use your wingsuit to flank the enemy, get behind them, and kill the enemy before they even know you're there. Really effective, really important, because remember, the more kills you get, the more XP you will be gaining. So the wingsuit is extremely important to do those nice crispy flanks and to get the upper hand not only on high ground, but also get the upper hand on teams that are attacking the position when you can easily just come from behind and kill them very easily. The next character we're going to recommend is Mac K. Now, Mac K, the reason he's super important is because of two main things. Number one, he's able to move fast when aiming, which is always a plus. But the main thing we want to use for him is the grappling hook. The grappling hook is going to be key here because that's going to allow us to get to high ground where enemies won't be able to get if they are not using this character. It's extremely important, guys, that you get him as quickly as you possibly can. He will be unlocked at level 15. But once you get that level 15, 
you want to make sure you use the grapple hook to your advantage and get to high ground as quickly as you can so you can kill enemies a lot faster and a lot easier. The next one I want to recommend, guys, is Boris. Now, the reason why we recommend Boris is because he is able, guys, to kind of have wall hacks because anytime you pull out his sentry, his sentry will start shooting people. And once he starts shooting people, you are going to be able to have wall hacks and see the enemies right off the radar. So it's extremely important. This is going to allow you to get more kills because you're using the right character. Those are the three main characters I would recommend. If you have any additional characters that you think will give you an advantage to killing more kills and leveling up your XP, please let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so for tip number three, and this is something that you all should be doing if you guys listen to my ribbon strategy, you're going to want to make sure you guys, you play the objective. Yes, guys, play the objective. This is not Call of Duty where you can just run around, get kills. You have to play the objective. The reason why you want to play the objective is because every single time, guys, you capture a point, it's going to give you XP. Remember, you're trying to level up as quickly as you possibly can. So what I would recommend, you spawn in, pick up a vehicle, head all the way to the furthest point. Make sure you cap that one. Come back, get the other caps. People are going to cap those, so it doesn't matter. So when you go back, you cap. The more caps you get, the more XP you will gain. So play the objective, guys. This is super easy to do, and everybody should be doing it. All right, so now on to, all right, so now on to the next tip. Now, this particular tip, guys, I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to kind of take the joy of playing the game but if you're trying to level up bro i gotta give you all the options you have at your disposal and that is called bot farming now the way you do bot farming guys is you're going to want to make sure you set your game offline when your game is set offline then you're able to add bots to the lobby these are super easy bots they don't they're blaming it they don't even know what they're doing you just spawn in spawn in solo or you can play with a team because you can play up to four people on this bot farm but you got to make sure you're playing offline spawn in you will be getting weapon xp and you will be getting character XP. Super easy to do, guys. And I I mean, I would, I don't know if I should recommend it, but if you want to level up fast, you, you're more than welcome to do it that way. And then on to the last tip. This is going to be the most sweaty tip, guys, because this is going to have you guys searching those for portal servers that include bots. Now, these bots, guys, are one HP. So you just one tap them. You just shoot them once, they automatically die. You guys will be able to search it if you guys are playing Portal. This is by far the easiest way to level up, the fastest way to level up, but it's going to take the joy off the game. You'll probably get your weapons, your character max level, everything max level because it's super easy to do. But I still wanted to mention it because if you guys are looking for the fastest method, I got to mention all the methods, even though it theoretically could be considered an exploit. But that is the fastest way to level up in Battlefield 2042. I do hope you guys are finding our Battlefield 2042 coverage enjoyable. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. And if you want to show a little bit more of the support, consider becoming part of the Bold Nation. We love to have you here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video.